Welcome to the Dow Jones Factiva Training and Overview. In this brief video lesson, we will review searching in Factiva's Advanced Search section using the intelligent indexing tags you see below. The Factiva database consists of over 30,000 sources, with more than half of them being premium licensed content. Over 74% of that is not available on the free web, along with over 13,000 reputable business websites and 4,000 A-list blogs. Discovering the news you need while cutting through the noise can be intimidating. With Factiva's free text and intelligent indexing options, searching can be made easy. Let's take a look at using the intelligent indexing here below, listed by source, author, subject, company, industry, region, and language. Over a half a million, upwards of a million articles a day come into Factiva. The intelligent indexing algorithm automatically reads and sorts these articles instantly and places them in our database with metadata on the back end of these articles. That metadata, or tagging, will consist of these subjects, the sources that it's from, the author who wrote it, the company, perhaps the subject or industry, the region that it's referring to, and the language that it's in. You can break these articles down and quickly identify them by presetting what it is you're looking for. In this instance, I'm going to be doing a search around Apple computer. As I type the word Apple, I'll notice that the drop-down box is identifying that I'm looking for Apple and therefore will suggest companies in our database that have the word Apple in them. In this case, Apple Computer is the most well-known and that's why it's at the top. I'm going to choose Apple Inc. You can define your search even further by adding more tags on the back such as subject, industry, region. For instance, I may be looking just around wearable technology by Apple. If you begin to type your keywords, I'll see that it has wearable technology. So now I'll be searching all my articles that come back will have been tagged by our system as being about Apple and referencing wearable technology. My date I'll set out for the last year. You can go back as far as five years on preset. You can enter your own date range if you are specifically looking for a set period of time, or you can choose all dates. In some instances and in some sources of Factiva, we go as far back as the late 70s. One last thing to note, we do have a checkbox just before you search, additional blogs and boards. If you do include this, just note that you will get back an immense amount of data Additional blogs and boards, when you include them, can be anything uh, including selected coverage from Twitter, social network sites like YouTube, LinkedIn, Answers, MetaCafe, Flickr, and others. It's not recommended only because there are 20 million blogs that are basically crawled uh, throughout, the, throughout the world. These are individual, uh, again, social media sites. So it's going to pull back an, an enormous amount of content. We often leave this unchecked. The only time you would really be advised to possibly include additional blogs and boards is if you are using a keyword, searching a name of a person or a company, and you want to know every single possible instance that we find where someone is writing about that keyword, that company, or that person. So in the last three months, I've pulled back over 1,100 articles that is referring to Apple and their wearable technology. Primarily, they're referring to the smartwatch or the iWatch. All of these articles that are listed are coming from premium content and our web news. You can sort this out along the top. In the gray area, we list how many articles are listed from licensed content or publications, how many are web news, how many are blogs, pictures, and multimedia. By clicking on any one of the links at the top, you can sort that out. If you choose publications, any article you see will be labeled with the blue Factiva logo. That means it's licensed content. When you choose that article, it'll be listed within Factiva and you will stay in the site. At the bottom of any article that we do list within Factiva, you'll notice related articles. This will pull back more articles that our system has identified as being similar to the article that you just read. So if you're looking for more content similar to the article you just read, give this a try. If we look at web news, by clicking on web news at the top, I'll isolate only articles that we have found 
from the internet, again, reputable websites that we look at, like Apple Insider, App Advice, TechSpot, you can see the name of the source right here below the headline. Whenever you see an HTML marker, such as the ones we see here, and you were to click on any article, it will take you outside of Factiva and open up a, the website that it's referring to. I often choose all at the link at the top so that I can see everything mixed together, publications, web news, and blogs. Now, 1,100 articles is still quite a bit, so I may be looking for something specific around Apple's wearable market. On the left-hand side, you'll notice that the discovery pane breaks down all of the articles in numbers of how many are listed and tagged as personal technology, how many have been tagged by subject, by companies that are being referred to along with Apple, how many sources are listed and different sources that these are coming from, and the regions that they are referring to as well. In this case, I may be interested in, again, the wearable Apple technology, and I see here physical fitness. So I'm going to click on this, and now I'm, what I'm looking at is articles that were wearable technology and articles that are identified as relating to physical fitness. Earlier, I spoke about the similar and identical duplicate articles. Here, the system has identified one duplicate article, which is noted at the bottom as duplicate articles and then the number that it identified. There will always be the plus, so you won't lose your articles. It just groups them together to save space in your results. This allows the articles that you get back to differentiate themselves more. You can click on the plus and see the article down below. At any point, you can modify your search you can save your search or you can create an alert out of it. If you're finding the articles that you want, at any point, you can save your search by clicking Save Search, Create Alert by clicking Create Alert, or modify the search to go back and change. To remove any of the tags, simply click on the tag and choose Remove. Two more areas I'd like to point out are the sources and the expert search before we move on. You can narrow your search down by specific sources and keeping it only to top sources or sources from a specific industry or language or region. By choosing the drop down in select source category, you can select these options. Top sources, for instance, will include major PR news and business wires, Reuters, The Wall Street Journal, and Dow Jones select news wires. By industry will help focus on sources and publishers that are only coming from specific industries that you're looking for. For instance, if I'm looking at Apple wearable technology, I may only want to focus on technology-based publishers. So I'll choose technology here, and I've narrowed it down to now knowing that all the resources that are coming back and publishers, if you look, are listed Apple Insider, Mac News, Mac Rumors, Tech Radar, Phone Arena, you can continue to expand further to Mashable, CIO Magazine, and CNET. Back to the top right, Modify Search. We can always remove that and include all sources. Again, if you're only looking for specific items, for instance, you may be looking for only press, re press release wires. Run the search, and everything you get back is from press release wires, such as Dow Jones Newswire, Business Wire, PRM2, and SB. If you ever want to know about an item's information or details, next to all these sources, next to every subject, next to every industry, you'll always notice a small information button. If you click on this information button, you'll be presented with information about the source the, of the subject, the industry, or whichever you clicked on. In this instance, major news and business sources, key sources from various regions covering general business news. If you have specific items within these, for instance, if I'm in major news and business sources in the US and specific publishers, I can click on the button for that information and it will tell you such things as the source code, the language it's in, the most recent issue, online availability, article coverage, format, the publisher. It would also lead a URL and address link to the actual site itself. You can also get an idea of the circulation, which is the average number of copies that are distributed during a week.
One other area to note is our Factiva expert search. Our integration team has pre-built searches automatically looking at things such as new sentiment, competitive intelligence, taxing and accounting, reputational risk, people, and trending topics. Note you can only choose one Factiva expert search at a time. For instance, if I want to see new sentiment around Apple's wearable technology and I'm looking for some positive news articles, I can scroll down to positive news and choose the English language and run my search. I can even change it for further out. Let's go one year. And you'll see that all the articles coming back around Apple's wearable technology has positive news skew to it. So you're looking at Apple sales nearly doubling, increase in dividends, sales increase, company expansion, and so on. There are many expert searches, but if you don't find the one you want, you can contact us here at Factiva, and we would be happy to customize and build searches for you and work with you around specific topics, keywords, items, people, companies, and so on. You will also notice another option of not. Not means that the articles coming back will not include any articles that have been tagged as that particular tag that you identified. In this case, wearable technology, I don't want to see anything about wearable technology. The post-processing options are available above simply by selecting the article or multiple articles that you wish to post-process. By selecting the articles you want, up top you can email, print, save, workspace, or PDF, and rich text format or RTF file these. In the workspace, you simply click on the workspace icon, which looks like a small briefcase with a W on it. This acts like a shopping cart when you're shopping at Amazon. You simply click on the workspace and you'll be prompted to create a new workspace. We'll name that. And then we'll add the articles to that workspace by hovering over the add key and clicking add. At any time, you can view this workspace simply by going to manage the page. Or when you're in Factiva, on the top right by the gear, you'll be able to click the drop-down gear and choose workspaces. In your workspaces, you'll notice here Apple Tech, which is what I just created. And when I click that Apple Tech in my workspace, I'll see all of my articles that are saved. It will save up to 100 articles per workspace, and you can have up to uh, 30, 40, 50 workspaces if you wish. Again, you can post process similar to uh, RTF files, PDF files, and so on simply by clicking up top to print, save, and download. If I download a PDF format, I'll choose in this instance the headline, the article, and a table of contents because I have multiple articles. It'll download my PDF format at the bottom here, and when I click on it, it'll open up to exit the workspace when you're in one. The top right exit workspace will bring you back to the search page in Factiva. You can combine multiple tags, subjects, industries, regions, or you can simply search an individual industry, subject, or region by itself. One last example, I'll search. You can use our suggestions down below. If I look around and I want to see, for instance, the real estate and construction market, or perhaps get more granular, and I'm only looking for construction, I can choose construction. I click search. And in the last three months, I'm brought back all the information in, in Factiva, which is 192,000 articles, all of which have been tagged as construction-related articles. Again, using this discovery pane on the left-hand side, I can identify quickly of those 192,000, which are press releases, which are contracts, strategies, earnings, transports, acquisitions, and so on. If I'm looking for a specific company, I can sort through the companies in the discovery pane. If I don't see the company I'm looking for, continue to click the plus just below each one of these sections, and it will continue to fan out 
until you may see your company that you're looking for. In this instance, let's choose Toll Brothers. I may not want to see any press releases about them. If you don't want to see something, we have an exclusion button, the red circle with the line through it. Click on that and that will exclude. So now I'm looking at construction tagged articles speaking solely about Toll Brothers and they are not press releases. Now I may be interested in any kind of anal analysis or analyst comments and recommendations in this instance. I'll click on. So within 30 seconds, I've narrowed down 192,000 articles specifically about analyst comments recommendations that are not press releases specifically relating to Toll Brothers and construction. And you can see here the results are quite good. If you want to keep track of these and have them emailed to you automatically, again, you can create alert up top and choose personal alert or just create an alert. In another video on your Spark page, I will speak about creating alerts and how to tailor them exactly to how you want them sent to you and also how to bundle multiple alerts if you have several that you've built. Also managing, editing, and deleting these alerts, sharing them and inviting other users or other colleagues as well. I hope this has been informative. This has been searching in Factiva, strictly just using the Dow Jones Intelligent Indexing codes down at the bottom here. In the next video, we'll speak about searching in Factiva using the Boolean search language and free text area in the top here. For any further questions, concerns, or feedback about Factiva, or you'd like to schedule an individual or class learning session for you and your colleagues, Simply look at the Factiva information on your Spark portal and it will list out contacts here at Dow Jones for you to reach out to. We also have a live help and customer service area in Factiva, either by clicking on the live help, the green button. This will open up a 24-hour chat that you can contact our service at any time. You can also choose the gear on the top right with the settings and choose customer service. This will open up our customer service portal where you can enter your search to type for help. We have several subjects, updates, different communications about maintenances, different products coming out, content being added, and also several ways to contact us via email, again, the live chat, call us via phone, or share your feedback. Thank you and have a good day.